So this is a very carefully planned and curated uh, program covering all aspects of neonatal ventilation. We're going to learn from the experts themselves who have been at the forefront of research in newborn ventilation. It's going to be very, very focused and at their own pace. So we all realize that we all are adults and we are probably have learned some things and then we need to relearn some things after unlearning some things. So we are here to teach you new things. And I'm very proud to say that Dr. Sridhar Balas Kalyan Sundram, who is our own um, alumni from PGI Chandigarh, he was my junior from PGI, he's been at the forefront of curating out this program and you'll hear it from him directly as to what he has planned for us in this next, next six months. Dr. Dagdish Chenapa and Dr. Balachandra, as I told you, they are the visionaries who have created this platform, the learning management software, which we're going to have a great experiential program this next six months. Dr. Rakesh Sani, my junior from Malana Zad Medical College, he's professor, medical director of the NICUs at Columbia University. He's a very well-known person in the field of CPAP, original research. He's going to be talking some lectures on this. And Professor Vidit Bhandari, who's here already, who's a world-renowned authority on non-invasive ventilation, especially synchronized ventilation modalities. I think we are very proud to have him. Thank you, Professor Vidit, for joining us here. And it will be a pleasure to listen to you. Dr. Satish Dev Pujari is a great friend who is an astute respiratory physiologist. And he's a pediatric intensivist with a special interest in blood gases. And he's going to be taking those lectures for us. Dr. Kiran More is a very well-known neonatologist who has spent a lot of time in Australia. And we have the fortune of him having us now back in India and Thano in his own hospital. And he is going to be talking about um, advanced modalities of ventilation. Professor Sudhi Pradeep Suryavanshi also is from uh, Bharatiya Vidya Peet. He, as you all know, is a very well-known exponent in uh, neonatal e uh, echo and ultrasound. And he's going to be also involved in teaching us hemodynamics and other modalities while we're ventilating babies. Dr. Srinivas Murki is a well-known figure in India, and he has done original work last 20 years on CPAP and respiratory support. But then he has been a forerunner for ventilation workshops. I have had the fortune of doing many neonatal ventilation workshops uh, in person. Workshops we and the All India Institute and PGI team have done it together, and he is going to be also joining us. And I have great privilege in introducing Dr. Razak, who is my own fellow, who has been an astute neonatologist the last 10 years. He's made a great name for himself. He was at McMaster's doing fellowship, and then now he's doing another fellowship in Monash University, doing his PhD as well. And he is going to be talking to us about primary respiratory failure problems and respiratory physiology and the dynamics of respiratory problems in babies. So having said that, we definitely have realized that all of you are self-motivated, self-directional attitudes you all have, and this experiential adult learning uh, platform for which you have come is probably because you really are very, very focused on trying to learn more. And this readiness to learn is probably has brought us here, and we are hopefully going to mentor you and trying to see how best we can orient you towards this process of relearning. Thank you very much. And now I'll request um, my colleague, Dr. Sridhar. He's going to be talking about all these other, uh, you know. Overview of uh, how the course will work. I mean, uh, I'll keep it simple, but uh, we will have uh, more discussion as well uh, later on once the uh, formal inauguration is finished. Uh, the modules, I'll come up to that next. I mean, all of you may be familiar with uh, how the modules are uh, arranged, but uh, the modules are uh, released in a schedule. And uh, once it is released, you will be able to see that module as well as what is uh, released prior to that. But uh, till you finish the particular module and go on to the next stage, the next ones will stay locked. So you finish uh, one, we, one module and then move on to the next one. Some of you may find it a bit slow, but uh, the reason we kept it like that is, uh, as Dr. Karthik mentioned, it's an adult uh, form of learning. What we are projecting in these modules, the expert lectures, 
or only one particular aspect. So we want you to read wider, to think more about these topics and be ready yourself when we come to the uh, online uh, interactive sessions that we have on these modules as well. So uh, as I said, don't restrict to watching the video. Wider reading is essential uh, related to that. Uh, any of the good textbooks or articles are good. And obviously, the more uh, you read about a subject, the more questions you may have. And you're welcome to uh, share your uh, new knowledge or uh, ask questions in our groups as well. Uh, do feel free to share any good article or uh, particular points that you want to share with the group for the other students as well. And if you have any specific questions that you want to uh, clarify as you watch the video or you read yourself, please note it down so that it can be put in as questions on the group, which we can either clarify on the WhatsApp group itself or uh, we will discuss in the online sessions. And we can also get the feedback from the faculty uh, as needed. So we have eight modules. The first module, which will be released today, is the overview of respiratory distress. Uh, this is a broad topic, obviously, and most of you would have basic information about this topic. Uh, read wider on uh, I mean, uh, any aspects that you feel you need to know more, because this is the foundation of the pathophysiology of a problem and how we approach uh, ventilation related to the con condition. The second module is on uh, pulmonary mechanics, uh, mainly by Dr. Abdul Razak. And we have uh, respiratory failure and its approach as a third module. Uh, Professor Satish uh, will be uh, discussing oxygenation and uh, both him and Dr. Abdul Razak will be discussing overview of blood gas analysis. So this is the basics part. And uh, we have the uh, module six, uh, seven and eight, which will be discussed after we have the personal contact sessions in Bangalore on April 21st, which we will discuss as well. So uh, the basics of mechanical ventilation will be covered by stalwarts uh, Srinivas Murki as well as Professor Sani. And the practical approach mainly discussed by Professor uh, Vineet Bandari, Dr. Karthik Nagesh and uh, colleagues. And uh, of course, additional measures uh, is where uh, we have supportive management of a baby on ventilatory care, surfactant therapy, hemodynamic monitoring, approach to PPHN and all that. So. Uh, uh, waveform analysis and everything will be discussed in the end. So you will get a taste of all these when we meet uh, in April. So we are not leaving everything for the end. And these uh, three modules in the end, which will be released as the last three modules, would already be familiar with that from the workshops. So it's a six month course and we have uh, 12 online contact sessions in total. Uh, we have two days of personal contact session. We have two exams, uh, mid uh, and final exams, plus other assessments, as I will explain. Uh, we are very uh, proud to say that we have 33 uh, registrations and all of you are very welcome. Uh, thank you for choosing to join us for the first course. Of course, as Dr. Karthik said, we will probably start expanding and uh, get more uh, candidates. We have overseas candidates as well, a special welcome to them. And uh, we will try to discuss how best to suit the time zone differences as well. So this is a nutshell, eight modules. Each module has two to four chapters and uh, we would recommend self-learning for each chapter as well. Uh, the academic calendar will be provided to you and uh, we will be flexible. This is the first uh, batch and we will try to give some options to fit everyone in the online and physical sessions as best as we can, but we do have limitations in terms of faculty and uh, team timing. So. Uh, the online sessions I will explain next as well. So we, we will try to work around uh, either a common date or a uh, couple of day, days when we can overlap. And we have the WhatsApp groups to support you. Uh, the faculty that we have are extremely busy. So it's mainly myself and Dr. Karthik who will be taking the uh, online contact sessions as well as the responsibility for the WhatsApp group. We have a separate faculty group. And once we have questions specific for faculty topics, we'll share it with the faculty and get their responses either as a typed response or even as a short video that they may record and send. So uh, the technical support is also available. And as uh, Professor Jagdish mentioned, Metrain team is very experienced for uh, more than five years now, and uh, we all learn on the job and they have reached uh, the learning curve is uh, excellent now and they are beyond that stage where they're excelling. The online contact session is one of the key parts uh, where in addition to your learning, we will be interacting and we will have opportunity for you to present as well. 
So this will happen every two weeks from the start to the end of the course. It will be like one to 1.5 hours. And we will start with three to four multiple choice questions on the module uh, as a discussion basis. Some of you might answer this and then we will discuss uh, why we choose an answer. There will be two short presentations by the students. The reason we said two uh, presentations is because we don't want to overshoot the time. And those who are not presenting in the online contact session will uh, present in the physical contact session. And we will uh, discuss uh, who will confirm their attendance and then uh, allot to them. If there is expert input from other faculty, I mentioned this already. And the attendance is compulsory, but we understand that you're all busy clinicians. Some of you are running your own unit. Some of you are overseas and the time zones are different. So if you're not able to attend live, we need to confirm uh, that you watch the recording. So our team, the Metrain team will be monitoring this and uh, you will not be able to skip uh, the videos. You will have to watch them when you find time. So try to join uh, online uh, live if possible because you yourself can interact directly. But if you miss out, you can always watch and ask questions that you are unable to ask in the live session. We do have uh, 25 marks for attending all the online and personal sessions, which will include 10 marks for uh, your individual presentation. So all of you will definitely get an opportunity to present. Uh, the recorded version will be available and uh, completing is essential for course completion as well. Uh, the mandatory rules, obviously, uh, the students should present one topic, which will be a case-based discussion on one of the topics during the course module. We will allot uh, about two weeks in advance. We probably will make a roster and share it with you. If you need to change it, uh, we may have to swap. And as I said, the ones per presenting during the personal session, we need their confirmation before we can do that. And use PowerPoint format for preparing and presenting and the Metrain team can help you with that if you need any support. The PowerPoint should uh, reach the Metrain team and the uh, supervisor uh, four days prior to the date for the faculty review. Uh, we should be on time so that uh, sessions start on time and uh, uh, the attention to mute and mute is very important. Chat box uh, can be used appropriately, raising hands and so on. So again, the technical support team will have a short uh, briefing for all of you. And it's compulsory to keep your video on uh, during the OCS and uh, the meeting will be recorded as well. You will receive a monthly update indicating your progress and highlighting any outstanding tasks. And other, if you face any challenges or you're identified as facing challenges, the team will reach out to the faculty for additional support. And uh, obviously, uh, we will try to uh, support uh, those who are uh, behind or who need additional support. We're also very happy to see uh, one of the nurses from UAE who has joined the course. Very welcome to Mira. And uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. If you find any aspect difficult, uh, please uh, let us know and we will tight, I mean, fine tune it to your uh, level as well. So the personal contact session, we have decided it will be on 20th and 21st of April. We will be inviting the faculty as well and uh, we can't guarantee all of them will be there, but at least we will be going through their videos to some extent uh, for the future modules, the specific practical aspects of it. And we will have the ventilator demo the supportive care, uh, possibly hemodynamics uh, in a brief demo as well. So this will give a summary of what is to come for the last uh, three months. And this will prepare you uh, to actually clinically manage the patients. So uh, this will be for two days and the physical attendance is preferred where possible. And, and uh, most practical aspects will be covered, but this will be recorded as well. So those who are unable to attend physically, we would definitely need you to watch this online. And uh, the attendance and interaction uh, will be monitored and uh, one assignment should be completed. The allotment we mentioned already. So we will have two assessment tests. One will be uh, just before the start of the personal contact session. If you are physically present, you will do it physically half an hour before the start of the day, like 8.30 in the morning. And uh, those who are not here physically will do it online, just like the final exam will be conducted. So it will be 25 MCQs covering the basics in the beginning and 50 MCQs covering the entire course in the end. So these are the main assessments. We don't have uh, regular MCQs following each module, but this will be part of the OCS as we discussed. And the 50 marks will be for the final test, 25 for the mid test and 25 for the OCS, PCS and your contribution. So this will be the scoring and this will lead to the certification. So uh, in the final two weeks, we'll have a final integration of all the modules, time for your clarification as well as the exit exam. And the certification will follow the exam scores and your completion. I'm sure uh, all of you will be 
clearing it uh, with the flying colors and i am sure this will benefit your course uh, one thing i would like to point out as dr karthik mentioned ventilation is something that's evolving there is no single way to do ventilation and we are all becoming more minimalist as far as we can so aggressive management and early intervention is important but over aggressive management uh, is not uh, going to be beneficial so we have to plan what we will do we have to understand the pathophysiology and uh, if we manage to convey that key message to you in the end as to how you choose the mode of ventilation according to the underlying pathophysiology how you watch the patient and fine tune what to do then it will be successful from our side so uh, we mentioned the eligibility for the final exam again the team will be monitoring your attendance in the ocs the presentation and the faculty will feedback on your performance as well so please do cooperate and take the presentation seriously and we will try our best to support you if you have any doubts and questions you would post it on the whatsapp group i don't expect an immediate response we're all busy clinicians and not all of us know everything and we have to be humble to accept what we don't know so please if there is any topic that needs further review we will mention that and we may seek the other faculty's help and if you disagree with anything that we mentioned don't hesitate to do that because we learn all the time we are all learning every day so if you have anything to bring in from your own experience please don't hesitate not everything that uh, the uh, faculty says is going to be true all the time it doesn't fit all the scenarios so don't hesitate to speak up and uh, please don't try to message or call the faculty directly uh, better to keep it in the group as you understand uh, we have our personal uh, routine as well uh, we have our technical support team and you'll get a briefing on that shortly and uh, this is the summary of uh, how the course will work and in addition to watching the modules please aim to allot one hour a day as far as possible for optimal learning for example if you're choosing one particular textbook i mean i don't want to recommend any specific textbook you can choose uh, if you choose a particular textbook uh, read one hour a day uh, obviously we're all busy clinicians and uh, reading one hour a day is not easy but this is going to be the crux what we are giving you is a platform to get together with other like minded people who are keen to learn and you have senior faculty to guide you and to goad you as well use this opportunity to expand your knowledge uh, we are not having any research project or it won't lead to publication but obviously this can stimulate you to the next level where you would be involved in some research in your local region and possibly excel in your field and of course the faculty uh, who have given their valuable time uh, there is uh, no way to thank them adequately because they have put in so much effort the metrain team have converted their lectures into interactive uh, videos which you will uh, appreciate for sure so many thanks to the team as well and uh, with this uh, i know it was a bit lengthy but i had to be detailed about it i hope uh, this helped